Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a video on this beautiful wristlet. Wristlet! Wristlet! I've made a whole bunch of them because at my sew group, I wanted to bless the ladies that I sew with. Look, I want to show you. This has a little chubby bird, a sweet little bird right there. And then this one has a blue jay. This is also something that I give to my clients that I long them for because they're makers, they're sewers. And these are sweet little gifts that you can make for your sewing group or for even your clients. And they're not expensive. I hope you like this video on how to make these sweet little wristlets. All right, let's get making. So let's talk about the materials. These are the materials you're gonna need to make this. Need batting, fabric for the top of your cushion, and also fabric for bottom plate. Uh, you're gonna need these little wooden discs. I get these at uh, Hobby Lobby. I went ahead and got myself half inch foam, a large needle, and kind of a upholstery thread or a thicker thread. I also like this stretchy, they call it trim. So I got these at Hobby Lobby. Decorative lace, whatever you love. Still gonna use um, ribbon. You don't have to use this. I just thought I'm using my stash of ribbon. I have a whole bunch of different colors. It just gives it a little bit more juice. I also got like decorative buttons. I just thought they were adorable. <laughs> this, I found these in the button section and they come in little bags like this. Let's talk about the two tools that I used to make this. Another thing you're gonna need is a glue gun and some glue sticks. I just kinda like these Gorilla glue sticks, but it doesn't have to be this type. I also liked uh, to use this pen, the back of it, but you could get a turning stick or whatever, you know, works for you. I just, I was working with using the Sharpie to Sharpie the material and I also use this to turn the fabric over, but a Sharpie and a turnover stick if you have one. All right, let's put this thing together. It's really easy, so let's get making. So what you're gonna do is you're going to <laughs> get your wood thingamajig and you're going to make yourself some circles. Um, you wanna give yourself like a quarter inch, maybe a half inch, to bring the fabric around Get yourself some workable fabric here and while I'm doing this I have my iron kind of going iron then you're gonna just put right here on this edge this is what I was talking like a turning tool Don't burn yourself here because that's why I like. And you want to get everything up. Oh, like, don't burn yourself. Like I said, get everything nice and rounded. Like, right here. and pretty so I have my cut ribbon pieces and you can make them whatever length you want them to be um, I'm making them different sizes because different people have different wrist sizes I have a very big wrist and you could put them on your forearm or your wrist but I like the forearm so mine's a bit bigger because I have a bit bigger arms So this is what the wristlet looks like. This is what it looks like underneath. That's what it looks like. Draw a circle. And then you're gonna start cutting 
another circle all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can see how much I need to cut. And you're gonna do that with all your foam pieces. This is where you're gonna need your batting and your top fabric, our upholstery thread and our big needle. We're gonna feed it through. There you go. Then we're gonna get our piece here, do random basting stitches, but close to the edge. You wanna make sure that you have fabric that goes all the way around, even batting, and that's all I'm doing. Pull it through, and then what you can do is, as you're doing this, you can round it. Then you're gonna get both ends. And you're just gonna pull slightly. You're gonna pull it a little bit and you're gonna make a knot because you can pull your fabric down. Then we're gonna cut all the excess material. Just like that. And then you can pull your thread a little bit more. You're, you don't want to tuck it in too much. You want it kind of open and a little bit wider, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and just, you can literally glue it and kind of form it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a large amount of glue on the wood right here. an excessive amount then I'm going to kind of tuck in this is when your pen becomes a blessing tuck also this all these ends in to that glue It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it decent. <laughs> um, push it in the right position, just like that. I was using a different camera. This one was upstairs. I was using, so when I was gluing everything, I'm a bit off of focus. <laughs> I apologize. I just put a whole bunch of the glue gun glue and started from this end all the way around and here where the seam connected on this, I started putting flowers and embellishing the seam area. When uh, you're putting this ribbon, put it where you have this in a corner so that it hangs on the side. I did one and I put it here and it hung weird. So put it where it's on your side, which would be on the side of where this wristlet holder band is. I'm going to make myself a couple more. It's just four pieces of ribbon with a knot. And I'm going to wrap it around and cut myself several pieces of this. And then I have my little Tweety Birds. Tassels right there. Just right here. Then I'm going to start gluing from here all the way around. Bring this down. Maybe glue. cover up everything push that in and you're hiding all of that imperfection and all this like crevices and extra space fill it in with glue there it is look how pretty that is 
my pin cushion this is what it looks like underneath but the best part of it it's functional a lot of the material that I purchased I bought at Hobby Lobby or Joann's I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one bye bye